Stolen for person, this is Anton, and looks like once again we have some kind of a bizarre unexplained discovery coming from somewhere out there in our galaxy. A new unusual object we've never seen before, and an object that currently is basically impossible to explain. And you kind of seen it right here. A bizarre icy object somewhere in our galaxy that doesn't resemble anything we've seen before and nobody can currently explain what we're even looking at. And so let's discuss this discovery from the Japanese astronomers in more detail, starting with how this was found and what the scientists have recently uncovered by doing a follow-up study and by conducting additional observations. You're probably aware that US and Europe are not the only countries launching various space satellites and Japan has actually been doing a pretty good job at this as well. And back in 2006, they launched Akari. This was a Japanese space telescope, sort of I guess similar to uh, a kind of a baby James Webb space telescope, that for approximately 5 years scanned the night skies in infrared frequencies. And during its operation, it basically observed the entire night skies until the unfortunate electrical failure in 2011. And in 2023, or approximately a year and a half from when I'm making this video, it re-entered atmosphere and crashed into our planet. This picture from Joseph Remy shows us the approximate position. And during its operation, it did actually make a few intriguing discoveries. For example, first ever infrared detections of a supernova in small Magellanic cloud, various molecular clouds around active galactic nuclei and large black holes, lots of different star forming regions in our galaxy and outside of the galaxy, but also a few objects that were kind of unusual and somewhat difficult to understand. And two of these objects basically kind of looks like this. This was from our own galaxy. And even though these objects appear to be very close to each other, they were actually separated by a relatively large distance. In other words, they appear to be kind of unrelated to one another. And here we're talking about distances in tens of thousands of light years away from planet Earth. Basically almost on the other side of the galaxy. But unfortunately this telescope was not powerful enough to tell us exactly what this is and to separate wavelengths of light in order to provide details of composition. And so for basically almost two decades now, a lot of these objects remain kind of mysterious and practically forgotten. But in this recent study, the Niigata University researchers, whose names you see right here, decided to finally conduct a follow-up using modern telescopes such as ALMA. And this is where essentially the mystery kind of starts, because it looked like nothing we've seen before. It appeared to be either some kind of a really dense gas cloud maybe some kind of a young star, or maybe something else entirely, but it also appeared to be essentially some kind of an icy object with something relatively bright and something relatively hot in the center. And so right now they're just called peculiar embedded icy objects. Hey yo, I guess. But the more surprising fact is that there seem to be two of them in a very similar location in the night skies, but really far away from each other. So this is not just some kind of a single phenomenon. And the fact that they don't look like anything we've seen before is really why this is probably one of the most exciting discoveries in the last few years. But we obviously have some details based on ALMA observations. For example, first, these two objects seem to resemble each other and they're also very small compared to a typical gas cloud. So these are not nebula, these are not molecular clouds, these are not your typical clouds that usually result in new stars. As a matter of fact, in terms of size, they seem to be about the same size as a typical star system, or maybe just a little bit larger. But their composition is very strange. It's basically mostly ice. Here scientists discovered a lot of carbon monoxide, a lot of silicon monoxide, and yeah, ice, ice, ice everywhere. Which is pretty bizarre because we would expect something like, for example, maybe more hydrogen, or maybe even water, somewhere in these observations. Instead, we seem to see a lot of silicon, and actually way more than carbon, which is very often associated with some kind of a really powerful cosmic explosion. For example, some kind of a young star producing all of this material, emitting it into outer space. But here this would not really make sense because these are really small objects, and a typical star that would produce this, such as a Wolf Rea star, is way, way larger. On top of this, these objects are quite isolated, they don't seem to have any neighbors or other clouds near them, which means that these are unlikely to be new stars, they're also unlikely to be just parts of some kind of a larger cloud, and unlikely to be stars escaping a typical star nursery. And so here we have something relatively small, very isolated, enriched in a lot of different ices, whose origin is a little bit questionable, and more importantly, combining all of these features and observations together, 
we get an object we've never seen before. With the biggest contradiction being the fact that they seem to be cold, they seem to have lots of ice, yet they still seem to emit a lot of infrared light right from the center, kind of resembling a typical hot star. As a matter of fact, in terms of luminosity, both objects are estimated to be anywhere from 500 to 750 times brighter than the sun. So yeah, these objects also seem to shine. And since there are no clouds near them, and no source of any kind of ice in this vicinity, it's basically unknown where they even came from. These objects are truly isolated. Isolated and relatively compact. Additional observations also reveal that there is a relatively broad emission line, suggesting that something here is moving at 8 to 14 kilometers per second. So basically here gas seems to be orbiting something more massive in the center, in some sense maybe resembling a star system after all. These velocities are very common in a lot of different star systems. Or maybe this is some kind of a gas orbiting something central, which would imply some kind of a shock event that possibly happened in the past from something I guess exploding. But once again, since there are no nearby star forming regions and no clouds of any kind, it's impossible to explain the origin of these two objects. In the study, researchers actually focus on two potential explanations. Maybe these are protostars or basically baby stars, such as young stellar objects, and here the observations don't seem to resemble any of them. Likewise, maybe these are ancient stars or evolved stars, basically near the end of their transition, but once again, we cannot explain what's evolving into what or even what sort of a star this would be. With the only possible explanation that the researchers provide at the end being some kind of a dust enshrouded oxygen rich AGB star, or basically some kind of an enriched infrared star that for some reason contains huge amounts of ice. And the additional explanation basically just being some kind of a coincidence, as in there is a cloud here, very small ice cloud, and maybe just maybe right behind this cloud, somewhere really far away, there is basically some kind of a bright star that's shining through this cloud, making it appear like it's the same object. The only problem with that explanation is that we have two objects doing this, and they both resemble each other quite a lot. So yeah, that would be quite a coincidence. And well, right now, this is pretty much where we're at. We have these two unknown icy objects, somewhat hot and bright on the inside, very, very cold and icy on the outside, that don't resemble any star, don't resemble any cloud, don't resemble absolutely anything. We don't have a name for them, we don't have any information about what this can possibly even be. These are just two icy balls, surprisingly in a similar location in a night skies, but separated by about 10,000 light years of space. And intriguingly enough, there's not even a single theory or explanation out there that can maybe start resolving this mystery. Normally when we find some kind of a mysterious object, there's at least one paper somewhere out there that might have predicted their existence. Here though, not so much. This is really a bizarre mystery. And actually a super exciting mystery because for all we know, we might have discovered a completely new kind of star. A star that for some reason has been never found before, has been kind of ignored I guess, but in this case because we have two, this might actually be it. An entirely new cosmic object, discovered completely by accident by analyzing older data. But in order to understand what's happening here, two things need to be done. The first more obvious is observations with the James Webb. James Webb was basically designed for these types of observations and is going to tell us exactly what's happening inside by observing various molecules and by helping us understand how things are distributed inside this object which could then allow us to maybe simulate the overall structure. And second, it's important to compare these two objects and to find individual differences because this will also help us see what might have happened here and how these objects might have formed. Lastly, we need a wider survey trying to discover even more of these objects somewhere out there because chances are this is a new type of a star and chances are they're actually everywhere but for some reason were never seen before, maybe because people didn't actually think this would be a new star or a new object. And that's because previous infrared surveys never really looked that far and never really had enough resolution to identify such small objects at such distances. Now though, with the James Webb, once we have a hint of one of these objects again, it will be possible to determine exactly what's inside. And right now the scientists behind the study applied for James Webb observations in order to essentially try to solve this mystery. Which means that in the next few months, hopefully, we'll hear back more about this and maybe have our first answers. Right now, I'm just going to leave this at a very big question mark. No idea what this is, what created this, how old this is, or even if it's some kind of a cloud, planet, star, weird cosmic snowball, or obviously, um, aliens. 
which it probably isn't, but still. Anyway, once we discover something else, and once there is maybe some information about this, we'll come back and follow this up in one of the next videos. Until then, check out some other videos in the description, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.